Hey YouTube, Mentored One here with the final episode of my Darwin Pond uh, evolution simulation experiment. We're up around 1.5 million ticks at this point. Uh, at the last episode I had introduced an invasive species that I called the worm or the red worm. And as you can see at a glance here, they have completely destroyed the seahorse creatures. They have driven them into extinction and they are the only species in the pond right now. Uh, there's a couple of small color mutations, yellow, purple, but for the most part you see these red worms have just decimated everything. Um, and you can see them move, I mean they're very fluid, they look like eels. And it's just there, everything that I've ever uh, put these things up against, they've decimated. So they've pretty much destroyed that experiment and um, proven that there's very little that could stop them. So I think I'm going to leave this experiment as it is for now. What I would like to do, if you have been watching and you find this interesting, if you run this and you come up with any critters that you think might stand a chance against these things, um, get in touch with me and uh, maybe we can send me the DNA file and I can put them in here and do a little contest, I guess. So far I haven't found anything that can stop these creatures regardless of the environment um, when I created them they were put through many different tests so this is you know probably the 50,000th 50, that a 50,000th generation of these things and they're just bred to destroy everything at this point um, I mean I have a few other critters in stock that might give them a fight but we're not going to get into that too much right now so that's it the uh, the seahorse experiment that had been going on for a while at 1.5 million ticks. They are completely extinct and the red worms have destroyed everything in sight. Um, and I don't think that there's going to be any type of a comeback mounted. So that's the end of this experiment. And um, if you would like to see additional experiments uh, with different, you know, I could switch the parameters up, use different creatures that I have in stock or whole new ones. Or if you have a DNA file or files you'd like to share if you've done your own experiments, uh, please do drop me a line and I'll make some more videos if you're interested. And until then, I appreciate you watching the series of Darwin Pond, the evolution simulation experiment. I will put the link to obtain this program in the description. And uh, I hope you run some experiments of your own. It is very interesting. You can minimize it and let it run in the background and come back and take a look and see what happens. So thank you for watching once again uh, and uh, peace out YouTube.